Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to create natural watercolors using yellow narcissus. First we're going to start by harvesting the narcissus flower. I'm looking for flowers that are already dying or they are damaged. For example, this is a perfect flower, so I'm just going to leave it there. Instead, here I have another flower that is already dying. So I'm going to use this one. When you remove the flowers that are dying, you're actually helping the plant to create new flowers. So I'm going to cut with scissors and I'm going to be very careful with the seed because it can be toxic if you eat it. Then I'm going to put the flower on a glass container like this one. the flower in this glass container so I can harvest the flowers in different days. So I'm going to put it there with a little bit of water and the next day I'm going to take the other flowers that are damaged and so on for at least two or three days. For example, the next day I found these other flowers that has been eaten by insects, so I'm going to put in the glass container. Once you have five or six flowers, I'm going to pour cold water on top. And I'm going to let the flower rest here for one day. The next day I'm going to take a pot and I'm going to pour the flowers with the water. Then I'm going to turn on the heat and minimum temperature is okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit more of water. But remember that we are creating watercolors so we don't need a lot of water. We just need enough water to cover the flowers. To help the flowers to release the color easily, you can cut them in small pieces. Then I'm going to cover the pot and I'm going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes.
After 10 minutes, you will notice that the water is already full of color. Now I'm going to check to see if I have a good intensity of color. Here you can see that we have a beautiful gold yellow. So I think we're ready for the next step. I'm going to take a glass container, a scythe and a cloth. and I'm going to pour the water through to remove all the pieces of flowers and petals. Here you can also see the beautiful color that is already dyeing the cotton cloth. Remember to squeeze the cloth to release all the water and all the color inside. Because this is an organic watercolor, it doesn't have a very long shelf life. So after a couple of days, you will notice that a mold is going to form. To prevent this mold to form, I'm going to put a tablespoon of alcohol. And now the natural watercolor made with Narcissus flower is ready. Just see how bright this yellow is. The best way to store the watercolor is inside the fridge. But remember that it's not going to last a long time. Because as I said before, it's organic, so eventually mold is going to form. But this doesn't mean that you cannot create right away beautiful masterpiece. Now you can see how easy it is to create watercolors with the flowers that we have around. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helped me a lot. If you want to see more videos like this one, remember to subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.